you play harder? Uh, I am John Tobias, and uh, I was the project lead on Tao Feng. Tao Feng is being developed by Studio Gigante and uh, published by Microsoft. We are about 95% done with Tao Feng in terms of its development. Uh, the development on the final product uh, lasted about 18 months, and uh, we are a few weeks away from um, shipping the title. The fighting system for Tao Feng is uh, faster paced than some of the current 3D fighters out there in a sense that um, the, the moves that the characters can do against each other um, happen in a much uh, uh, quicker fashion and also happen in a way that um, really forces the player to kind of utilize the environment that he's fighting in. Um, because of the expansive uh, nature of the backgrounds, um, our characters can run uh, great distances and jump in, uh, uh, great distances as well and it really kind of opens up the game. Um, there's not sort of this claustrophobic feeling of two characters uh, in, in close quarters combat. Although you can kind of get in close and trade blows that way, um, you can also um, incorporate uh, sort of long distance attacks which, which is a nice departure from uh, a lot of the current games out there. We felt it was important uh, to incorporate the backgrounds in terms of making them a little bit more interactive for the players um, and expanding them and um, we wanted to really make the, the, the player feel like he was fighting in an environment as opposed to a floating platform with invisible walls um, and uh, allowing the players this uh, extra mobility was um, key to, um, to again uh, exploring the, the environments and all the different hazards and, and breakable objects within them. Um, that was that was pretty important for us, and we thought that uh, that that would go a long way in differentiating our game from some of the others out there. Tao Feng incorporates what we call uh, chi attacks um, and, a, and, a, and a chi system, where um, as you perform combos and attacks, you build uh, your chi. And underneath our health meter, uh, we have what we call our chi meter. And um, building your chi uh, is, is kind of a, a strategic element to the game. Um, you can use your chi to either unleash chi attacks, which are sort of supernatural style attacks. They vary from projectile based kind of attacks. Um, some of them happen uh, long range, some of them are good close range, some of them are teleport teleportation style attacks. Um, but you can also use your chi to heal yourself. And another thing we do is uh, what we call limb damage. And when you suffer limb damage, you can heal the damage by uh, utilizing your chi as well. So there's an element of strategy there. Once you build your chi, um, you have to kind of decide whether you want to use it for a chi attack or save it to heal yourself in case you suffer limb damage. Limb damage is caused a few different ways. Limb damage can be caused um, through uh, interaction with the environment, slamming your opponent repeatedly. Um, into environmental hazards will advance what we call our limb damage state. Um, once you re reach danger, um, a successful attack to the upper body will cause arm limb damage and a low attack to the legs will cause leg limb damage. And there's an element of strategy there as well in that if your opponent is really good at a particular attack that involves kicks, you know that if you cause leg limb damage, um, his ability to use those effectively kind of goes away. And in addition, leg limb damage will affect their mobility a little bit. Um, and of course, again, they can they can um, heal themselves. But uh, limb damage is is kind of fun to see happen, and and once you learn um, how to make it happen, um, it can play a pretty big role in, in winning the game. Uh, each character, I think, has about a hundred hundred to one hundred and twenty different moves. Um, we when we developed the game, we did uh, approximately I think two thousand different motion captured animations um, that are kind of dispersed throughout all the different characters. Um, but it was important for us that each character had a unique set of attacks. There's no kind of, you know, sharing of kicks and things like that. We wanted each guy to seem sort of individual in a sense. Um, we don't really incorporate uh, too many distinct styles, although a couple of the characters do use um, distinct martial arts styles. Um, our Wulong Goth character incorporates uh, Praying Mantis, and uh, uh, Master Sage does kind of a, a, a Tai Chi style. Um, of, of, of fighting. Um, but the majority of the characters, we just wanted to create moves and attacks that fit the look of the character and the size of the character and what we felt uh, was the appropriate speed for, for the particular character. 
there are a handful of different modes in Tao Feng. Um, versus mode kind of covers uh, both the single player um, arcade style experience and also that's where the the main one on one uh, aspect of the game takes place. Um, we also have a uh, what we call survival mode and uh, a team battle mode. Survival mode for us is interesting because of the chi system and the limb damage system and how they play a role in a, in a game and how you when you fight multiple enemies in a row it really forces you to consider um, how you build chi and when you use it and when to cause limb damage and all those things and and um, it's good to play uh, in survival mode because again it it really helps you figure out um, how to play the strategic game of of when to use chi and when not to because it's all about kind of surviving throughout uh, multiple uh, multiple matches. Um, and then that helps uh, sort of uh, train you for when you do fight, uh, you know, your, your buddy, and uh, it helps you plan strategy. We have a mode that uh, we call quest mode, and quest mode is about um, playing as a, a particular character and learning about how that character fits within the Tao Feng universe. Um, quest mode involves um, each character uh, in a quest for a particular quest item that has sort of a historical significance within the world of Tao Feng. And, and as you play through quest mode, there's a narrator who kind of walks you through the, the different battles and tells you about each enemy and what your history with that enemy is. And so it's a, good, it's, a, it's a good way to kind of unfold the story and learn about the characters and who they are. I think what we're most excited about Tao Feng is, again, the openness of the fight and um, how after you play Tao Feng and you see all of the, the destruction that can happen to the environment and you see your characters become uh, both visually damaged and the, the, the cloth tears and the bruising and the cuts um, and inflicting limb damage and those things, once you play the game for a while and get used to that, um, if you go back and play different fighting games, and there are a lot of great ones out there, but you kind of miss some of those elements. And I think that that, that that was a, a good thing for us and that, again, after playing Tao Feng and, and, and getting used to it, uh, you get accustomed to seeing all, this, all these uh, luxuries um, uh, that were afforded on the Xbox. So I think we're most proudest of taking advantage of the Xbox and really using it to incorporate all these new features. And uh, Tao Feng will be released mid-March. Can't you play harder?